Black Friday Shopping Free! Black Friday Shopping Time! That's right, my friend. If you want to add a shopping theme to your Black Friday intro, I'm gonna show you to do it in this tutorial with LumaFusion. Let's go. There's a few reasons why you want to add a good intro to your video, okay? First of all, it's training, okay? Every October, November, before Black Friday, there's always a rush of search in your, for your videos about like, you know, Black Friday. So you want to be trending to get more views from your audience. It's also, also, it's also fun to do as well, yeah? You because know? if you are a, if you have a shopping uh, product base, website, or tutorial, you want to have a sale as well for that kind of season. It's more trending and more seasonal, topical topic. That's why you want to be jump on board this kind of uh, trend, okay? Okay, that's roughly what we're going to do, Black Friday. Something like that. Uh, my one right here, I have seven seconds. Okay, but first of all, first thing you got to do is import the elements that you want to, that you want to animate, okay? Okay, right now I'm doing the animation there already, right? I have, let's say, I have a title, a shopping cart, a name tag, a shopping bag as well, multiple color, and a, just a title, Black Friday. Okay, uh, some of these are my creation, some of these are from Apple, okay, Apple Graphic, okay. Some of the Apple, Apple Graphic you can get it from anywhere, okay, in your app here, your iPad. Actually, if you type, type in any keyboard, do that. Let me have a keyboard shortcut. Okay, title overlay, new title. Okay. Go here, double tap. Now, now you have a lot of graphic to play with, my friend. Okay. So there's probably like you know, a few hundreds here that you can play with. Okay. It's also, you know, it's for Halloween theme, you can use spider if you want to, okay, and snake, whatever, okay. But for, for us, we want to go through something shopping, alright. So, I think I did a, mostly we have here, but the, the, the last one that you use is here, okay. So I have shopping cart, okay, shopping cart, shopping bag, a gifting box, okay. So that's roughly what we have here. Let me move to this side. Okay, that's roughly what we have, okay? Now you have to do this individually, okay? If you want to animate each element, okay? So for, for example, if I want to animate the shopping cart right here, right? Okay. I need to put it in a one layer in Lumo Fusion if I want to animate it. But let me start from scratch and I'll show you how. So this one I have my card shopping cart. Boom. Big for sale sign. Boom. First thing first, right? You want to get your elements in. Okay. Then you want to animate each element differently. Okay. If you have your logo as well, might as well use that if you want to promote your logo, uh, your brand. So I try to make it seven seconds, okay, roughly seven seconds, okay, like that. Okay, you can see in here, and always follow below my touch. Okay, right now I have, let's copy this shopping cart. No, I don't want to do that. Halloween, okay, so that takes, okay, what type of that? Okay, Black Friday. So you want to add everything in before you do your animation, okay, that's the point. Okay. To black. Okay, this is Black Friday, right? Yeah. This color is white, that's perfect. Spin it out. Okay. Now, first thing I want to do is turn off the, the top layers. Okay, so I go to the eye here, turn it off, and I want to work on one single layer at a time. Okay, so it's the bottom layer here. That's the layer I want to play with. Okay. 
So the level tap on that. And right now, it's like that. Okay. Seven seconds long. Okay. First thing I want to do is touch on the. I, I move the blade head to the end first. So I want to begin with the end in mind. Okay. So for sale. 50% off. Okay, I want to make a keyframe at the end. Then I want to change it to where how I, I like to position it. Somewhere there. Maybe smaller. Keep larger. Okay, having a new frame. Okay. Then I want to move back to around six seconds. Okay. Then I'll make a keyframe. Just tap on the size. Then we will make a keyframe. Then you want to move back a little bit to the same size okay the reason why I want to have this at 6 seconds is because if you go animate all the way to the end it, it, it's too rush people could, could not get it so I want to do a freeze frame around 1 second after the transition okay so that's what I want to leave 1 second at the end so people will have hey this is what we, we're doing so it doesn't confuse people. Okay, and then I move the blade head all the way to, to the to the beginning. Then I expand. Okay, I move this cell, big cell. Then that's it, and that is your animation. Okay, so if you want to play it right now, it will slowly zoom from big to small to that location we want. Okay, happy with that? Then you move on to your next one, next element. Okay, I'll show you that as well. Now, now this one I have to turn selected first. The second on top of her here. Right there, right. Then you gotta move to your eye. Turn 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 off the eye, I mean. So it will show, okay? The uh, trolley, shopping trolley. Same thing, the key to the end in mind, so right now the play head, okay. I want the shopping cart to be somewhere there at the end, okay. Click on the keyframe right here, okay. Click on the keyframe, boom. Right there, right, boom. Then move back to around 6 seconds. Right there. Make another keyframe. Okay. Then move to the end, beginning. Okay. On this one, I want to start from right here. One second in, I want to go in. Somewhere there. Then another one there. I want to move somewhere here. Then I wanted to make a Go to the top, so I want to rotate it. That's too much. This is where you use your parent easier. Worst case scenario, move this uh, button, and it's, uh, there's a uh, glitch to the <laughs> the app here. Okay, you can't see the uh, the, the movement right there, but. Uh, you see the movement at the bottom. So there's a uh, glitch in the uh, the app right here. Hopefully they fix it soon. <laughs> Can you just type it in here? You know, easier. It's tap on that. I just type it in. I want how much? What's the thing I want? You know, instead of going like one by one like this, plus or minus. Okay, tap on that and it should go into your thing. But you can't do. It. Come on, do more fusion. Fix it. Okay, let's play. Just give roughly the the, uh, the animation that I want. Let's play from the beginning. Let's do a rough job, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Okay, that's two elements ready, and you continue the rest of the elements one by one, and you go through the whole process, okay? I'll, I'll do it I'll do that now, and I'll show you the end result, okay? Okay, now for the title, the Black Friday. Still begin with the end in mind as well. So you go somewhere there, zoom it out a little bit. So Black Friday, move back to six seconds there. 
Now you have T-frame. So you want to start somewhere here, by the bottom. And just one second, I'm going to move in. Okay. Then we slowly move up. Okay. That's how it is. Okay. Like that. And also, what I want to do with this one is, I want the, the blending mode change to something else. So it's something different right now, it's normal, right? The blending mode. I want to experiment with multiple, let's see where, where it will take us. Okay. Okay, that's look cool. So let's play. Okay, that's look cool. Okay, so Black Friday. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, right? Now, what you want to do next is add some kind of sound effects or music and all music to make it better, okay? For this one, since this is shopping cream, right? Let me do quickly, do a voiceover, okay? So how you do a voiceover is go to your plus sign, add voiceover, okay? Add myself. Black Friday shopping free! Play it again. Black Friday shopping free! Okay, something like that, okay? You like it? Yes? Then move, move to your whatever you want. Okay? Now, what you want to do is add music to it, okay? Okay, that doesn't seem to work, okay? But we move on. Uh, but if you want what you want, you can actually uh, play it. And if I have a coin, add a into your mix, okay? Yeah. So right now I just have the shopping spray. You can add like, your music, your look, your intro music that you want, your own kind of theme, okay? Add to that if you want to. The sound effect could be anything, okay? Could be the kaching, 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 or yeah, whatever I said just then. That's an, that's an effect as well. That's it, my friend. Just learn it, go back slowly, and do what I do, just did, okay? Uh, it, it's more advanced Luma Fusion. So take your time, but once you learn how to do animation, the, the stuff is very really simple. Check out my playlist as well, if you want to learn about this, the basics, especially the, the one about Lightroom, animation for Lightroom users. That's the basics that, that I go through very slowly, so you can catch what I just did just then. But if you are a, an advanced user, just follow along, you know? just go back to watch it one time, then come back to the stuff that you didn't get, then you learn it straight away, promise. Okay? My teaching is very simple. You, you can follow my, my steps. My name is Trevor Chow, I'm a time last month. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you find the content valuable to you. And also, as I said before, check out my playlist. Okay? There's some great stuff there for you to check it out. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below so I know you need help with whatever topic that you need help with, with LumaFusion or any of, anything about the Panasonic system, Lumix system. I probably know the answer, okay? or any video production or photography. I probably know that too. Okay? I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.